it off. Oh, wait, I, I thought the idea was a dog. Get out. What, you, you said to keep Get out. out. Oh, stop it there. Okay, go back. Can you can you uh, push in on the desk? What'd you see? Well, the papers Frank was working on must be important if he didn't want them caught on tape. Perhaps the demented one doth protest too much. What, what, you think he staged all this? No, there's something there. Well, up until this point, Frank was only showing us what he wants us to see. Right. So what's in that paperwork he's trying to hide? There, there, blow that up. Okay, there's bound to be issues of focus and resolution. Okay, man, look, we're talking about a baby who was ripped from his parents' arms uh, by a lunatic. Okay, the jackal appreciates the stakes and resents the implication that is being made. Okay, Melly, can you just try for me, yes, please? of course. Unfortunately, my pessimism is confirmed. The angle is poor and the resolution is low. So what, that's it? Well, given the limitations of the image, I'm afraid okay, so. Melly, I know you can do better than that. Stone Cold, I appreciate your faith in me, especially given the air of cynicism which permeates the room. Some would do well to practice the aphorism that you catch more flies with honey than vinegar. Okay, you know what? You, do you want motivation? Here it is. If we don't get a lead on Franco by tomorrow at 5 p.m., I'm going to have no choice but to take Jason back to Pattonville. <laughs> hey, Miss Lulu. Hey. Oh, um, it's just me, to me. Oh, no. I'm so used to seeing you and Detective Falcon. I joined it to him. I, uh, I just came from visiting Ethan at the hospital. Oh, yeah, man, that was some nasty business. Is he all right? Yeah, he's good. He told me to go out and have fun in his honor. <laughs> well, you're saying it, but I'm not feeling it. Um, well, the reason that I'm not with Dante is because he's with Jason right now trying to track down Franco. The detective and the motive force, I mean, that's just, that is an odd couple. Yeah, yeah, well, and Jason blames Dante for Michael going to prison, and it's no secret that he wants Dante dead. Well, that sounds like cause for concern, Lulu. Yeah, I know. Well, Dante's the one who got Jason out of prison, and everybody's acting like... You know, once they catch Franco, Jason's just going to go back to prison without a fight. For most men, it's live free or die. Exactly. So that's why I, I don't see why Jason hasn't made a run for it yet. Honestly, I just almost wish that Dante would cut his losses and send Jason back to prison now. Ouch. Maybe I'm being biased because you're talking about the man I love, but you are also talking about the man who saved your life. Behold, uh, a fragment of the missive's letterhead. Uh, R N E Y S, and then those numbers. Well, that could be anything, right? Any any kind of business. Yeah. Can you search a combination of those letters? Uh, yes, but un unfortunately, even with my sophisticated search engines, it could turn up millions of results. I mean, the letters are too few and too common in their layout. I'm afraid that whatever Franco is trying to hide from us will remain privileged. Privileged. Like a client would say. To an attorney. R N E Y S. Yes, it could be the, the last five letters to a law firm, but that begs the question why would Franco need a lawyer? So when, when Franco had you strapped to a bomb, Jason called Dante to tell him where to find you. I didn't mean to be insensitive. I, I'm, I'm really, I'm just, I'm seeing all the ways that this can go wrong and it scares me. And obviously you don't want Jason to go back to prison, but if he makes a run for it, it's Dante's no, life. Are, are you kidding up. me? Jason is the one who went to prison to protect Michael. Do you really see him as the kind of man who's going to just make a run for it while, while Franco's free? Okay, so then when Franco gets caught, he's just going to leave you and go right back to prison. You know what? I actually haven't allowed myself to think that far ahead. Look, I, I just spent, I spent way too much time in the past worrying about what I didn't have instead of appreciating what I did have. I lost Jason once already. Yeah, but you got him back. Not a lot of people get second chances. You're right. You are right, so I am trying to learn from my mistakes. Which is why I'm, I'm, I'm telling you that it's okay to be scared. I totally get where you're coming from. I've, I've been where you are, and I, I don't think that you're a bad person at all. I just sometimes question the choices that you make while being with Dante. With, I, I'm in love with him. <laughs> okay, that's fine. But being in love shouldn't mean you should forget who you are. No, that's no good, it's all shadow. 
There is little more to be gleaned from this image. Uh, can you go back to what you did before? The same section with that filter that you put on it? Your incessant badgering coupled with your ineffectual suggestions just serve to fuel the futility of this impossible task. Why don't you go somewhere and just do what you do best? Oh, yeah, and that would, that would be what? I will leave that to your own good conscience to decide. I will continue my task to the best of my humble abilities. Well, apparently I'm just slowing you guys down. So why don't you call me when you have something? I'm not going anywhere. Stone Cold, I cannot stay, Mama, as the betrayer breathes down my neck, just waiting to bring you back to Pentonville. Please, I implore you, just reconsider my offer to disarm your monitor and aid Major. Your... Spinelli, I already told you that I am not running. Okay, we're going to find Franco, and then I'm going back to Pentonville. like more legal bull. Yes, boilerplate. And without context, we cannot discern what these documents pertain to. Okay, let's let's do it again, frame by frame, until we find something. We'll go into the wee hours if necessary. No, Dante. No, let us thank all deities for that small favor. You two look fried. Maybe it's time for a break. Uh, we need to find a viable clue by 5 p.m. tomorrow that aforementioned detective will take Stone Cold back to incarceration. Okay, well, any progress? No. No. All right, well, come on, are you sure you're not that tired? Well, I will not abandon my post until young Aiden is recovered. You know what, maybe Sam's right. We're getting nowhere. We'll take a look at this with clear eyes in the morning.